Hi everyone, it's Heidi here from the Nest Kids CPR and Allergy. We hope you're well today. Um, in today's um, content, we're going to be talking about dislocations and breaks. Okay, so um, what we're talking about is obviously bones, so broken bones or dislocated bones and, and what can happen in children. So again, this is something that we teach and go through quite extensively in our first aid classes. Um, so we'll just go through this today with you uh, and just what, you know, things to expect, what to do, what first aid to give um, and the difference between a dislocation and a break. So a dislocation is when the joint falls out of the socket um, and the most common um, part of the body to get dislocated is the elbow. So this can occur when we're swinging our children round by the arms. Um, this actually happened to me when I was a child, apparently my dad was swinging me round by my arms when I was little in a park um, and my elbow popped out the socket. And uh, my poor dad, who was such a big softy, he apparently, I didn't speak to him for days. Um, I don't remember, I think I must've blocked it out, but happens very, very easily. Um, or maybe you're at the side of the road and you'd sort of pull your child back quickly um, by their arm. Um, and sometimes this can happen. So if it happens too often, the joint can become weak. So it's just something that we need to, um, need to be aware of. So treatment for a dislocation would be um, to just support the arm with some kind of very simple triangular bandage. Um, with a triangular bandage, what you, what you can do is just use, um, if you have a muslin or like a square, um, you know, like a large square muslin or something like that, one of these sheets, uh, we can make it into a triangle. And then we pop the point of the triangle underneath the elbow and then um, both sort of ends of the triangle go over the shoulders to tie at the back behind the neck. So, um, yeah, like I said, this is something that we actually go through with uh, in our first aid classes because it sounds very simple, but it can be a bit tricky. So signs and symptoms of a fracture, which is different. So a, a dislocation, um, it does need treatment. It needs treatment relatively quickly because it can be very uncomfortable. But the, likely, the likeliest scenario is that your doctor or the ED department will be able to pop that um, elbow joint in quite quickly, quite easily with maybe some distraction or a little sniff of um, some painkiller, but that it's, it's a very common thing and, and doctors uh, are very well versed, especially in ED departments at doing this. So um, there's usually no long-term effects um, and usually they're absolutely fine, but it definitely needs, um, needs treatment very, very quickly because it's just too uncomfortable otherwise. Um, so breaks, let's talk about fractures. So any child, any baby, under the age of one that is brought into hospital with a fracture, there is usually some questions around it because babies' um, bones tend to be uh, quite flexible up to the age of about 18 months because they're made of a lot of cartilage. So it means that they're a bit trickier to break. So if a child, a very young child like that has a break, then often it's, there's a few questions around it because it, you know, it's quite difficult to break the bone of a baby and it's not usually um, very common. So just be aware of that. But this is something that our medical professionals, they have to do because this is how we protect children on that odd occasion when it isn't an accidental injury. So older children will always be able to tell you when there's some sort of injury and explain, you know, what's happened to cause the injury so that you can actually, you know, look at it and assess what needs to be done. But it can be quite difficult to identify a fracture in infants and toddlers. They might cry, you might not see the affected area, but there may be no obvious injury either. Um, so babies and toddlers especially will just, they won't hide it, but they'll just mask an injury because they'll just be like, okay, my left arm's really sore, so I'm just not gonna use it. I'll go and play with my right arm and I'll eat with my right arm. And they just maybe don't, especially in a multi-child household, um, these things aren't noticed that quickly because it's almost like you can't believe that whatever happened would have caused a, a fracture. And the other thing is that maybe your child actually was just playing with their older siblings or something and fell off the bed and you just didn't even know about it. So um, this happens relatively often that a child comes in and actually the fracture happened, happened a day or two earlier. Um, so if you think your child has a fracture, they might have the following symptoms. So pain or tenderness around the injury site, swelling or redness around the injury because that's what tends to happen but with swelling comes pain so this is why we like to elevate the arm 
deformity or an unusual shape of the injured area. So this could be helpful. Um, what you can do here is pop, you know, ask them to put both arms out front or both legs out um, just so you can compare the two and see if there's any difference. Um, and another symptom is just them not wanting to move um, or use that injured area. So the first aid treatment for fractures, um, basically we'd aim to just provide comfort to the child and help to reduce the swelling um, and also provide the child with some pain relief until we get the fracture treated, which should, should be uh, relatively quickly, okay? So we can apply the following first aid for a, a suspected fracture and then we need to seek medical help. So you can give some pain relief in the form of uh, paracetamol or ibuprofen. Um, or both, we know they work well together, uh, reduce movement of the affected area. Okay, so um, we can apply a splint or a, a, a sling to an arm, like I said, putting that, um, that triangular bandage on just to really support that arm and keep it in one place. Um, if it's a leg, then we just need to be really careful here about moving this leg. But if it's comfortable enough to elevate the leg, then that's fine. But obviously with a leg, we'd probably need to call an ambulance because moving that child will be very difficult. Um, uh, we can apply an ice pack to the injury. Just always make sure that it's wrapped in something so that it's not directly on the skin. Um, and elevate, like we said, you know, you can elevate the arm um, en route to the hospital if you don't feel comfortable, if you think that the break is, it's very obviously deformed and you can't move the child, then we can call an ambulance. If it's a leg, then that would be very difficult to get the child into a car, especially with car restraints. Then we can call an ambulance too. Um, if uh, well, the ambulance is on its way, then elevation is a good thing. Um, to do as well. So the last thing we're going to say is that with an open fracture or a compound fracture, what this means is when there is actually a bone sticking through the skin. So this is where it's an open wound and we just don't know what ligaments, muscles, nerves, tendons are involved here. So we do not move this child. Okay. This with a, an open fracture, this is where we can just call an ambulance. All right. We can give some pain relief. If you, if the child is getting distressed, looking at it, we can maybe cover it with a very, a very light muslin or something like that, but we shouldn't be moving a child with an open fracture. We need to just call an ambulance. And what the ambulance can do is obviously assess the damage, but give um, stronger pain relief when they arrive so that they can assess the damage and act accordingly. Okay, so I hope this is helpful for you today. Um, remember to grab our virtual first aid kit if you don't already have it, it's at the bottom of every page on our website. Um, and also uh, what we have for parents of children with food allergy, we have the Allergy and Anaphylaxis Masterclass, which again is at the bottom of every page on our website. So take a look at that um, and otherwise have a lovely day and we'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.